What's going on guys, it's Brody Kern, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the state of self-help and what is actually portrayed to young entrepreneurs in today's age and landscape with social media, and I'm going to be talking to you about what it actually takes to achieve true self-transformation. So let's talk about traditional self-help. What everybody is putting out into the space right now does not work. Essentially, what most self-help gurus and different books out there tell you is that you need to be putting band-aids on the situation, right? Finding tools and tactics to address bad habits when they come up mentally each time that they happen. But to actually transform and to actually grow and become a better, more efficient person, what you have to do is you have to address the situation at its core. You have to do the deep work. That is what true transformation is about. Not giving yourself some fucking practice so that you don't fuck up each time you're about to do something you shouldn't be doing, right? It's about making it so that you don't have the urge to actually do that. It's not enough to fight the impulses each time they come up. You have to actually prevent the impulses by, from happening by completely changing. Now, your brain is going to fight you every step of the way because this gets uncomfortable. Putting a band-aid on it is easy because you experience the comfortability, a minimal amount of uncomfortability, then you slap the band-aid on it, right? But to truly change and to do deep work, you have to dig deep and it's going to get very fucking uncomfortable because you're going to trace some habit that, you know, it seemed like a minor bad habit to you. You're going to end up tracing it all the way back to your childhood and dealing with something that you have to deal with. So for example, story time with me, my biggest character defect in life was that internally I was an insecure person growing up all throughout high school, throughout college, but on the external, I was an extrovert, I'm an ENTP on the Myers-Briggs scale, I was great at playing the social game and I would mask it with false confidence. But the real issue was that inside, I, I, I was crippled, I was insecure, I was afraid of failure, afraid of success, afraid of being alone with my own thoughts. And later on in life, whenever I got sober and started to gain some real clarity and focus on introspection, I started to trace this back. And what really happened is that I could trace my insecurities all the way back to my relationship with my mother. Now, I grew up with an alcoholic mother who, whenever I was a child, I put it in my head that if I was better, she would quit drinking. Now, being an alcoholic myself, learning later in life that that was just never the case and I was able to, you know, help deal with some of that resentment, but the problem had already been instilled into me that I was not enough. Now, there's a very good chance that you have felt this feeling before because this is the most common feeling that young entrepreneurs feel because entrepreneurship is isolating and it breeds the feeling of I am not enough because you start comparing yourself to other individuals on social media. You see some fucking 19 year old driving a Lamborghini Huracan in Miami all the time when in reality it's rented, it's leased, it's not actually his, right? But then that causes you to feel that you're not enough because you're on your chapter one of someone else being on their chapter 20. This is a big problem that I have. Now on top of that, Nobody is telling individuals how to actually fix it. That is why I'm making this video. Now, because of what I was just mentioning, a lot of young individuals, males who have ego and they want to be successful and they want to feel enough, they are looking for the external to change the internal, right? They're gonna buy a new car. They're gonna buy a new watch. They're gonna buy some fucking Gucci shoes, some shit that is going to make them feel in the short term that they've made it or that they have the status that they want. Status is a big one that we're gonna be making videos on. But what you need to understand and what young entrepreneurs need to understand is that changing the external does not change the internal permanently. It, buying that thing to make yourself feel better or established, it is just another Band-Aid. But the inverse is actually true. If you change the internal and you allow that to paint your external, you will actually have the things in the external that you want and you'll also have that level of confidence and feeling that you are enough on the internal. Because ask yourselves, if I took away your watch, your car, your house, your fucking Ferragamo belt, who would you be? If I stripped you away of every materialistic thing that you have accumulated in your life that you are proud of, how would you feel, right? Because I've been there. I 
was the guy that I'm describing, who bought all the nice shit, who changed his external to make him feel better in his internal temporarily, only to eventually have to sell that stuff to get by because my internal was broken. I had a faulty foundation and the castle came crashing down. And that is when in my life I had to rebuild on a strong foundation, a strong internal where the only way to change the internal was by addressing it, not by fixing my external. But now, if you look at it, my external, my internal, they're all incredible because I started with building the strong foundation. And this is why traditional self-help does not work. You have to do deep work and transform. So let's say that you struggle with confidence, right? Traditional self-help is going to tell you that you need to be telling yourself that you're confident and focus on being confident. But self-transformation is actually about disengaging, disassociating with the fact that you're not confident. Because by saying that you're not confident and you need to tell yourself that you're more confident, you're actually reinforcing forcing the idea that you're not a confident person and that is just not a reasonable way of doing things anymore it is a temporary solution and I am about true deep work and creating long lasting change now if you implement these strategies this will work for you right the biggest problem that people come to me with is, Brody, I've seen this work for you and your students, but I don't think that it's going to work for me. I'm going to tell you right now, I am not special. I say this all the time. If something works for me, if it has worked for my students, it will work for you too.